Alrighty, I am your host with the most City Pants on City Pizza. If you hear the fan, um, I don't apologize because it's fucking hot in Cali today. Now, obviously, it's relative to me comparing it to Cali weather because I know Arizona had like 118, right? And where I'm at, it's like in the 80s, right? So fuck you. I hate whenever people complain about weather. It's like, what the fuck? I don't, I'm not used to New York weather. I don't give a fuck if it snowed over there. It's still cold as fuck over here to me, motherfucker. Just because you're used to it and you don't, you can't get warm because you're a fucking vampire doesn't mean that I'm a fucking vampire. So fuck you. Where were we today? Right. Kotsu Shoujo. We're going to play Risk with these two ladies. We'll see what happens. After school, Shizune Mish and Misha uh, quickly find me by the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I might try to escape. That makes sense. I feel a little offended. But, uh, I've been considering it. Nevertheless, I'm a bit disturbed that enough people have made a break for in the past that they're on guard. Uh, what's with the escort? Uh, this doesn't make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to a cell. She laughs. What's wrong, Kachan? It's just you sign some shit. That's right, we're just gonna go play a game of Risk, remember? Yeah, I don't know, Misha. This all seems a little sinister to me. I started thinking that when I, when we sit down uh, to play the game, that they'll tie me up and torture me until I agree to join the student council. Why is that your fuck, Toad. Well, it's highly unlikely, but still. For some reason, it just seems like that would be plausible. Da da da. Gates is still counter room is a simple as turning two corners from where we started. Oh, so that's like right there. Wait, what is this? It just makes you guys being so on top of me seems a little silly. That's not true, a chance. The chance says that when their life is threatened, people have shown the capability to pull off some superhuman burst of speed. Then life is threatened, bitch, you're just holding on to me. That's it. Her expression, <laughs> unchanging, mission signs and then amusedly uh, to Shizune, who makes a baffling face and puts her hands behind her back, looking pleased with herself. <laughs> Mr. Fane's depth is in Hums cheerily. Stop that. I, I know you heard me. <laughs> you have no excuse. I'll play Shizune. Shizune opens the door uh, to the student council room. It's a very plain, uh, sparsely decorated room. Uh, although it's quite large, maybe even a little larger than the classroom. There's a big table in the center surrounded by chairs and a smaller desk prominently placed in the back uh, that I assume is Shizune's. There are a few regular desks and a chair is stacked to one side as well. Uh, Extras, perhaps? Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer. Just a couple of filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with the old school records and documents. Uh, not much else. In fact, nothing else. This is a pretty bleak room. They could at least put some potted plant in here or something. What are you, a fucking interior designer? Uh, but in the most noticeable thing that uh, this room doesn't have is other people. Are we early? No. What do you mean, no? Is nobody else coming today? Yeah, that's right. Before I manage to ask why it's the case, Shizune claps her hands together uh, very energetically. Hey, Chan, let's play Riss. Come on, you promised, didn't you? You have to. And then she laughs. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you want to know the rules? We can explain uh, everything to you while we set up everything. While Mish is talking, Shizune takes out what looks like to be a board game from behind one of the filing cabinets and throws it on the table. Actually, this looks kind of interesting. After Mish spends a little too long for her liking, uh, running through the basics of the somewhat vague and confusing tutorial, Shizune cuts in and declares the game has started with a device, uh, decisive motion, slicing her arm through the air. Shizune's aggressiveness is rubbing off on me. I start feeling the more competitive side of me than I intended when I agreed to do this. Halfway through the game, while I try to ponder while, how to defend against Shizune's assault from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. The chance, the Chan wants you to know that you're taking too long to make a move. What? Chan also says that she will let you keep Australia if you agree and join the student council. The fuck? <laughs> I thought this was a game with no string attached. Yeah, fucking right. But just the fact that she would dangle that over my head uh, as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. Anyway, no! Chan admires your fighting spirit and would be a benevolent dictator who will spare your people if you agree to join us to the council. The fuck? That's kind of funny, I guess. 
You're so competitive, she's today. She seems to take that as a compliment. Now, I would expect the city council president to be a little more magnanimous. Yeah, what? Mag? Magnanimous? There you go. She doesn't know what the fuck that is. Drop it some knowledge, bitch. She doesn't. <laughs> She doesn't seem to know what the word means or how it's signed, so she pulls out a piece of paper and writes it down for Shishine. name. Who in return signs it back to Misha. Misha presses her index fingers against her temples as if trying to physically imprint the word into her memory. Hey man, if it works, it fucking works. The fact that she's like translating everything you and like she says, that's like super fucking cool. Suddenly, Shizune bursts into a flurry of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated signing. At Wait, please don't slow down, Chan. Um, he chance, he chances you're gonna lose. Uh, tell her I'll crush her world empire with my rebellion. Yeah, okay. There's, <laughs> there's, there's eyes of her shine with a childlike mischief. She says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. So, uh, no, no, you won't. Uh, I'm gonna still attack aggressively. I know what the fuck this option is, so fucking... No, there's a point. I'll attack aggressively. She's just really mocking me or trying to trick me. I have nothing else to lose, though, so I might as well try something different. Maybe if I spread out my forces and try to control more territories, I can regroup and take advantage. She's really seems to focus on conquering whole nations while I can sacrifice my hold on Congress to gain more smaller countries. It's worth a shot. It's actually kind of smart. A few turns later, I end up losing the game anyway. Shizune adjusts her glasses victoriously and allows her to tentatively pop a fist in the air of celebration. I win! I win! Yay! Fuck you! There's no need to translate that. That was pretty fucking clear. Don't look so sad at Chad. You were really giving it your best. That's what I thought. Sometimes your best isn't good enough, though. And if anyone knows that, it's me. You didn't. <laughs> what? Okay. You did it very well for someone to just learn how to play the game today. Alright, well... That's a cool thing to say. Mm, hey Chan, you attacked Iceland and North America at the same time. That's a very daring move, so Chan's impressed. What? Why would you do that, dude? That's fucking dumb to me. Why wouldn't you double up on, like... Whatever. The mark of great people is that they are daring and that they can follow through. You're already halfway there. Isn't that great, hey Chan? Yeah, that's fucking peachy. That isn't enough, though. Your just potential isn't enough. There's no point to potential if you don't take the first step. Ooh, people need fucking life advice here. Uh, and there's no point. Uh, what? There's no point to that if you if you don't keep going. I want to see more. You're right to chant, but that's so demanding. Ah, depends. Are we fucking? If we're fucking, yeah. All right, let's see it. Is that? Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, she's in a suddenly. Uh, leans forward, suddenly looking a lot less playful, more like a serious person than I expected her to be from the start. Hey Chan, would you like to join city council? Damn, she don't waste any fucking time, does she? It's just my second day of school though, I'm hesitant to commit about something so early. I haven't even taken a look at other clubs yet. But, spending time with Shizune and Misha doesn't seem like something I would hate. Mm, I still need more time to think about it before I decide for sure. Maybe. I'll get back to you on that. Okay, champ, but I hope you just don't say that just so we don't feel bad. No, really. Really? Champ, if you're gonna say that, then you're saying it's definitely true and there can't be any mistaking it. I know. I know. I, I guess I should get my revenge for losing at the very least. <laughs> that fucking face. Shizune smiles at that in a mischievous way that feels like twisting the knife in the wound of my loss. I take a glance at the clock on the wall and realize I spent far longer playing Risk than I expected. Uh, sorry, I, I gotta go. Um, I went into the library. Is, is it closed yet? Shizune scratches her head and gestures at Misha. How hard can you determine whether the library is open? The clock's like right the fuck there. Maybe they don't know the schedule, motherfucker? Maybe you shouldn't be asking a question you can figure out yourself, motherfucker? Motherfucker? It should be, unless the librarian's absent. Mm, I think you're right to Chan. 
Uh, we think the library's open. It's on the second floor. You can't miss it. Uh, do you want us to show you where it is? No, thanks. It's okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, babe. I'll see you in the next episode. Damn! Damn! Like this video. Eat ass. Save the bees. Goodbye.